Hey, bro. Uh, how's it going? Hope you have enjoyed the week. Um, it's weird to think. Um, I guess it's just my. Uh, I don't know. I have no idea. I thought taking a break would help. You know, there are people who would see the channel hasn't been active in a while. First video out in two weeks. I think that would help. I tried being funny. I tried being the person I was when this stuff started. When I first started. But it hasn't. Whatever. I don't care. I'm, I'm done trying new things. I'm done trying to impress people. I'm done with just dealing with things. Um... I'm dealing with something personal right now. I'm not going to get into that. Because um, if I do, I will, one, get sad. Probably cry, cry on camera like I cried earlier today. And then I will get full of rage. I'll probably want to punch something. Because um, that's how my that's how it works. You get sad and you get angry and you want to punch something. And I really do right now. You guys have no idea. Like, what you're seeing is, like, totally not what I'm feeling. Um... I have to be like really, really selective with what I say. <sighs> because if I'm not, I'll get mad or I'll get sad. No one wants to see a, a, a guy with a beard cry or get insanely pissed on camera. Um, the reason I'm not using my new phone, shout out to ZT, shout out to Goose Mobile, thank you. <laughs> um, so it's shipped by a uh, by Super Chill, uh, flavor, Doctor Chill. Let's uh, let's crack this thing open. Ah, listen to that, listen to that sweet sweet can open. Watch, it's we Take a sip. <sighs> Cheers. No, I'm being so that's my last that's my last can. I I'm done. With this soda. Um I'll say that and tomorrow I'll be like so incredibly beaten tired that I'm probably just gonna grab a can and just I'm gonna try not to, but it could happen. I don't know. Definitely not tomorrow. Oh the game's at eleven. Yeah, after the game I can go. Oh my dad, bring me there, because I need to just... Honestly, I gotta get to church. Um, it's what I have to do right now. Um, I'm just... I'm on edge, like you wouldn't believe. Um, so I just want to let you guys know, um, yeah, there will be once a week videos. Um, like I said in the last one, I don't know when I'll put them out, because today's Friday. Uh, last time I uploaded was, what, the 6th? No. What, what am I thinking? We're in October. Uh, the, sometime after I got my phone. Um, oh yeah, also if you guys are wondering about my, uh, about what you saw on my Twitter, yeah, I changed everything over. Um, the gaming channel is put on hold. Until I get main life together, and I'm trying to, it's just not working out the way it should. I don't want to take a job that I don't feel insanely comfortable in, because I know that no matter what, if I leave that job, it's gonna be hard to find a new one. So I want to find a job I like now, I, that I can I can rely on. There's, there's a job for it, it's just... Uh, I don't know what's going on. Um, I really don't know. I was, I was debating whether or not to record at all this week. I was thinking, oh man, I just upload a video every two weeks. Because, I mean... It's not like the channel's grown at all. 
Oh, three weeks ago. And then a week ago. So yeah, I recorded roughly a week ago. My, my goodbye for now. There's four views. But when I update the channel to give it plans, a month ago, doesn't get anything. I have five views on high school is what you make it. I legitimately, I am, I don't know. Um, I don't know. I don't know what to say. I, I legitimately, I have no words right now. Um, no, I don't, I don't even know what to talk about anymore. I talk about so much, it, I don't know what to talk about. Uh, my mind is at a blank. I can tell you what the YouTubers have been watching recently, but no one cares. Um, I can tell you all the things I've done, which isn't much. Um, to all the things I want to do, but I can't do, given my financial situation. I can say, I can tell you guys so many things that I would love to do, not only with this channel, but with the other channel, but I, if I talk about it, I'm going to think on it, I'm going to be fo so focused on that, I can't sleep. Because you guys know I'm, I need to be doing something, and that's hard for me to do because it's like you gotta sleep. But for me, it's like I have my brain is is always thinking. I, I wake up at like the middle of the, middle of my uh, sleep cycle, wake up, get, get a drink, take a piss, fall back to sleep, and I don't know what to do anymore. I mean, I want to inspire the youth of our day with encouragement and devotion, show them that there's people out there that are willing to help them no matter what, and all they have to do is come and talk to us. I want to be open with people. I want to rely on people. I want to believe that we can be better than what most people think we are. I'm trying to do a lot, but I can't because I don't have a lot. Like, honestly, right now, depending on who you are, and you decide to stick around this long in the video, because I know not many people do. Some people that click on the video, see the face, they leave. They click for the title, not for the person. Is is. Is that really all YouTubers have become? Just another face, just another idea, just another way for people to laugh and get joy out of, to feel no inspiration, to feel that they can't go to anyone. Is that what we've become? The society in which we rely on others to bring us joy, but we can't find joy in ourselves. And I know there are so many YouTubers that our devotion to them brings them so much joy, but I feel none of that as a, as a creator. Sure, my content may not be the best. It may not be something that people are going to click on. I'm not the, I'm no Shane Dawson, I'm no Joey Graceffa, I'm no Speedy, I'm no Vanoss, I'm no Goldie, I'm no Syndicate, I'm no PewDiePie, I'm none of them, I'm no Jenna Marbles, yeah, hell no, um, I'm me, I create videos on YouTube because I feel that our society is full of so much negativity, that we need someone to bring positive positivity back, and that's hard to do when all you all you see from people is negativity. And I'm trying to keep my mind focused, but I can't. 
that's the worst thing about it. I can't. I want to be able to hold on to my belief that I still have that everyone is good and everyone has a chance. That no matter how many times you fail, no matter how many times you fall, you can get right back up and fix your life. But I'm not seeing that in anything. People say our government is, re we should reflect our government, our government should reflect us. But here's the thing that has become exactly what it is. The United States government is negative. None of them willing to work together. None of them showing an ounce of respect for each other. No, no two humans show any respect for each other. I'm not talking about like in a joking way because j joking is fine. But when you look at some of these things that the news glorifies and everything, it's sickening to me. Because when you, when you look at the basis of, of how certain bad things happen, it's because it's been done in the past. And that what has gotten there, what that glory has gotten, makes other people wanting to know more because it, we have this sense of entitlement. We feel that we need to belong somewhere. We need to be put into a category. We need someone to tell us who we are. I'll tell you who I am. If that will let you understand exactly who I am and what I set out to do. Let me tell you something. This is all in with me. My name is Alexander Joseph Villiers. I'm a small town, unemployed, 19-year-old boy from Algoma, Wisconsin. I have an anxiety that makes me so it's hard to sleep. I'm not an insomniac. I can fall asleep fine. I feel tired at times as well. Not at random points when it's actually night. I'll be in the middle of so many thoughts and actions that I'll yawn and everything, but it's hard to fall asleep. I can... I have so many ideas that go around in my head, I don't know what I can do. I don't care how many people say that God doesn't exist. You can say that a thousand times, and I won't believe you. You can say to me, to my face, your God doesn't exist. He's not there for you. He will never be there for you. I will tell you... I will give you one word that signifies my basis belief. Hope. And let me tell you why I have so much hope. Because in our darkest hours... When we feel that there is no way we can get out of it, we find a way. We do. You wanna know why? It's not because of our own human action. It's not because of something that we saw on the news that inspired us. It's that little voice that is so huge in another plane that we cannot see that tells us that everything's going to be alright you wonder why because it will be no matter what you're doing no matter what action what negative reaction if you're this guy living in a mansion because you have your life together there's a voice that that's pushing you to do better. If you're a small time kid sitting in front of his laptop recording a video right now that maybe no one's going to see until the near future. Maybe you're a maybe you're a maybe you're a female dealing with an abusive boyfriend or abusive parents. I farted. 
That breaks that breaks the whole uh, inspiration. Mm -hmm. Whatever. That that really ruined it. Wow. You like you have no idea how much that ruined it. But if you if you're dealing with that, there is there is hope for you. I do like what a uh, a Wisconsin native who went on American Idol took third. His name is Danny Goki. His song Hope in Front of Me is the exact basis of what I'm talking about. No matter how sad or alone you might feel, no matter what you're going through, you lost a loved one, you're being abused, you're an addict, no matter who you are, there's hope for you. I don't care if other people hate you or anything until you show me that you I should not trust you I'm gonna trust you until you show me that I can't very few people have ever had to deal with that for me but even more know that no matter what I'm there for them even in my darkest times I'm I'm willing to be there for others. No matter how much of my personal life is being affected right now at this moment, I'm there for anyone who needs me. Now I know what some people who are watching this video who have lost their hope are probably thinking. This person is saying this for the views. He's saying this so when he put when he starts uploading, puts tags in, he can put like inspiration motivation all these things and get so many views let me tell you if you're new to this views the last thing I are the very last thing I care about a view is a view it doesn't matter one view is the best thing I can hope for ten heck Pat myself on the back. What did I do right there? I get more than that. It's like, okay, what, what the, why? I don't deserve this. Just one person that gets inspired by something can change the world. And when you look at all these stories of these donations being set up it's because of one person's story I would love to set up a donation in which you're not donating your money you're donating your hope your encouragement that you are willing to give to someone else because hope is the best thing we can give others Hope is something that very few people can have, but many can give. Um, that's kind of what I have to say. Hope, in and of itself, is something that this world needs to value more than oil or currency or who's going to lead our government in the next year. It shouldn't matter. What we need to hope for is hope of being a better human being to everyone else. Now let me tell you. You, sitting at your computer screen, staring at your cell phone watching this video. I want to talk to you. You've been listening and everything. You've been hearing my ideas. But I have one thing I want to tell you. Because of you, because of your click on this video, you brought hope to me. And you, man, woman, boy, girl, grandma, grandpa, mom, dad, son, daughter, whoever you are. It's because of you 
because hope never dies in me. So I want you to remember that. You are my hope. And I hope you have a great and God-blessed day. Well, night, technically, because it's like 11. My time. If you're seeing this early morning tomorrow for me, you're my hope. You are why I do this. So never forget that. And never let anyone tell you. You are just another view for someone else. Because to me, you are everything that inspires me.